This is a Feldenkrais awareness through movement lesson in high speed. The title of the lesson is, I number 013 buttocks. By the way, if you'd like to do the lesson right now, or watch the gist, click the white circled eye icon at the upper right corner. Otherwise, let's watch the lesson quickly. We are strengthening butt muscles today. Sit on the floor and lean on the hands behind you. Try to tighten the butt muscles, and let go. Do it a few times. Moshe said about how it feel like to tighten the butt muscles. He said it is like to avoid being animated. Tightening butt muscles are difficult because they are inner muscles. Does anything happen to the toes? Do the toes go outside or inside? Do you become taller or shorter? Rest please. Let me explain a little bit now. Usually when you tighten the butt, legs rotate to the outside, and the tightening the muscles in the hips raise the head. If legs rotate inward, that suggests you did with wrong muscles. Do it again. What Moshe said was to be exact is not to let his mother do it. I don't know but maybe it is a Jewish custom. Do it again. Use hands and arms any way you like. Avoid tightening stomach muscles along with the butt muscles. Place a hand to feel it. If the hand feels some kind of activation, that means you are tightening the whole trunk muscles. If the stomach muscles contract, legs rotate inward. Now leave the butt muscles alone and intentionally tighten the stomach muscles. Rest please. It is hard for me to be in this posture. I need to use hands behind me on the floor instead of on the laps. Lie on the back please, with legs long. Do the same movement in this position. Tighten the butts. Feel which side of the butts contracts stronger. Left butt or right butt. Does the pelvis lift? I see your pelvis clearly up from the floor. Your pelvis started to lift, too. Leave it. Now, contract only the right butt a few times. Feel it for yourself. You may use a hand. You already experienced the pelvis gets lifted as you contract butts. Now what happens to the chest? Rest please. Once again try to contract left hip and let it go a few times. Do you feel what is happening to the toes? If it is done well toes of the left foot go to left. Rest please. Roll over onto the stomach please. Put hands on the hips. Again contract hips. And leave the legs open a little bit. Contract the muscles of the hips and let it go. Feel what happens to the heels. Do heels go away from each other? Or do they come closer to each other? Contract only the right hip. Now contract only the left hip. Whenever you may want, you should change the direction of the head. Are you feeling pain in the left leg? If you feel pain, roll over to rest. Leave it and try to contract both hips. Which hip is easier to contract? Try to contract hips quickly and rhythmically. Rest please. Now come to sit on the knees. Place hands on the hips. Contract both hips. Don't use upper body actively. Shoulders do nothing. What happens with the heels? Do it slowly and gradually. Contract only the right hip. What happens to the lumbar? Left side. Shoulder don't do anything at all. Do it slowly and gradually. Both hips again. You may rest any time and start again after a break. Imagine you stick a pen on the belly button. Feel which direction it points as you contract hips. You feel better if you do it slowly and gradually. Good enough. Rest please. Stand on the knees again. Contract both hips quickly and rhythmically. Let the heels come closer to each other despite the speed. You may place hands on the hips again. Not on the lumbar but on the muscles of the hips. Place a hand on the stomach to make sure you are not contracting the stomach muscles. Rest please. It is not easy. On the knees again. Stand the right foot. Feel if you are comfortable and rather stable. Okay. Try to contract both hips. Place hands on the hips to see what happens. Do hips contract equally well? Rest please. Stand on the left foot and the right knee. Contract hips. If you are confused take a rest. Rest please. Slowly come to standing. Contract both hips in standing position. Shoulders do nothing. The head does not do anything either. But it may happen that the belly button looks up. Knees are not bent. They rather extend. Contracting hips makes you taller. Shoulders are not lifted. Stand on the right foot and the leg. Place the left foot on the floor but do not lean on it. Contract hips in this configuration. Shoulders do nothing. Toes of both feet open. That means inside of the right foot is lifted a little bit. The right big toe moves closer to the heel. It sort of slides on the floor. Place a hand on the left hip to see how difficult to contract it. Rest please. 
do it with the other side, stand on the left foot and touch the right foot on the floor but lean only on the left foot, contract both hips, the left side of the pelvis goes backward, the instep of the left foot is lifted, you lean more on the left side of the left foot, good enough, walk around a bit, feel the difference in the way you walk from usual, come back on the back please, imagine a straight line that connects the nose center of the mouth and jaw, the center of the chest and the belly button and the midpoint between the legs, is it a straight line or zigzag line, the distance between the line and hands more or less equal, how about the shoulders, the toes are wide open, is there any change from the beginning of the lesson, the distance between the line and the knees are equal, do you feel any change to the way you breathe, good enough, stand up and this concludes the lesson.